Thank you. I'm Kelly McConnell from the New England Center for Children. With April Marking Autism Awareness Month, we're really thankful to be here tonight to uh, share our story and to hope to spread awareness for a problem that really doesn't receive the attention or support that it really deserves. As a former teacher at NEC, I had some bad days. I had days where I was in restraints, where my hair was pulled, I was bit, but I was also lucky enough to receive the very best training and resources to help children with autism, no matter how severe, make progress. Now, imagine that you're a teacher, that you've just gone through all the schooling that it requires to be a teacher, and not just any teacher, but you've decided to dedicate your career to special education. And having landed your dream job of running an autism classroom, you go to meet your students, and it's then that a little bit of a reality sets in. Some of your students can communicate using spoken language, while others are using gestures or sign language. Some can work on complex reading activities, while others are barely able to communicate basic wants and needs, like being thirsty and needing a glass of water, or needing to go to the bathroom. And you're in charge with ensuring the success of these students, and in some cases, the only hope that the families of these children have for their future. And you're doing it with little to no resources. Forty years ago, when the diagnosis was a mere one in 10,000, next stood at the forefront of autism education and treatment, committed to transforming the lives of these children. And we remain there today amidst a staggering diagnosis rate of one in 68. Now that the crisis is extending way beyond the capacity of our Southboro campus, we're moving beyond our walls to see how we can provide teachers around the globe with the resources they need to help the most children make the, get the fullest potential. With autism, the ultimate tragedy remains that while there's no cure, these children can learn. Much like cancer or diabetes, some of the symptoms of autism can be treated. And we've developed what we believe to be a prescription for the ultimate treatment of autism, the Online Autism Curriculum Encyclopedia, or ACE. The ACE provides clinicians and educators with the resources needed to really teach children the skills that they need to be successful, not only in the classroom, but beyond in their lives. It transforms over 40 years of research and best practices into lesson plans to teach complex skills, as well as systems to monitor and document the smallest of successes all the way to the greatest of accomplishments, such as a little boy going from having problem behavior and not able to sit in a chair to being able to sit calmly and communicate effectively. Because of the ACE, teachers around the globe are able to know what to teach and how to teach it. It's the current blueprint for over 300, three, 3,700 special educators across 22 states and in nine countries. We're extending way beyond our 260 students on our Southboro campus and affecting the lives in the future of over 3,000 students. Thank you. <laughs>